Welcome back to another episode of Diecast Resurrections 3D Corner. I am your host Andy, and today we are going to be designing and printing a replacement boom crane for the back of the tow rig line of Hot Wheels. These little plastic pieces are usually the first things to break off or go missing, so let's see if we can't remedy that. But enough rambling, let's get designing. Alright, before we go about designing it, I'm going to recreate a rough copy of the actual tow rig itself. Makes measuring and fitting this item a lot easier. Alright, now that we've got something to work with, let's uh, start modeling the base that goes into the headache rack and light bar. Alright, let's make the peg that goes into the back of the box here. I'm going to make it the exact same size as the hole in the tow rig, so I'm hoping it's a friction fit, so won't have to glue it in. Alright, then just fit the contours of the box. Alright, looks good. Let's uh, add some lights to our light bar. Nice. Alright, crane time. Now this crane isn't going to be an exact replica of the original, but uh, as good as I can see it from a bunch of different pictures, and plus making it a little bit uh, easier to print too. But at the end, this design is going to look pretty sweet, I think. Alright, now that we've got our length figured out, um, I like to bring it back to a flat plane. It's a lot easier to actually edit with. And now we can put all the fine details in there. We'll start by making the indents to make it look like it's an extending boom, just like the original. Alright, now let's add the hydraulic unit for raising the crane and uh, extending it. Now before we attach everything and add the angles we need, we need to model the rest of the crane and then start modeling into the hook. Alright, that looks good. We just need to round off those nice edges. And we just need to cut out an area that we're going to put our hook. <laughs> That's starting to take shape. Oh, I have a perfect idea for a hook design, which will probably work good. <laughs> the hook turned out even better than I thought it would. Alright, just add the rest of the hoist block assembly, and that's pretty much almost done. Alright, now we just gotta attach to the base and add the big spool of wire. Now there's a saved tombstone shape I made that's gonna work good to hold the wire around on each side. Now for the wire spool, all I used was the ring shape, and I'm going to end up just copying them side by side and putting them slightly together. And it's going to cause just a slight ripple up when it's printing, so it'll look like a nice spool of wire in decent detail. You don't want to go too small with this because we're dealing with just millimeters here, and it's going to end up just printing like scanned printer lines, and you want to actually get a smooth surface. Alright, add the main cable. Alright, I'll put this cone in here just to make it look like there's a little motor. Now the way we're going to be printing this is it's going to be split directly down the middle and then printed in two pieces. So what we we'll want to do is create a support that goes from light to light. Otherwise it won't have anything to actually print onto. And if we let the 3D program do a support, it's probably going to end up being pretty rough. So if we add just half a millimeter of plastic in a little tiny area, it gives it enough strength to print, but it's easy to clip off. All right, now just to add the finishing touches, got to cut off all the areas that are be going into the box. I don't know about you guys, but that looks dang gorgeous. All right, here's what it looks like in two pieces on the bed. It should print just perfectly. I'm going to print it at 0.12 millimeters, so it gets that perfect quality. Here's a little quick edit I had to do because I actually made it a little too long, but I didn't have to cut much of the detail out and actually preserved it okay. And to the printer. Here are the two halves of the crane. They're looking mighty fine. We just need to glue these together. We are of course using Starbond Super Glue. If you're in the need for amazing adhesive, check them out and use our affiliate code JIMMY10 at checkout for 10% off. Well, that almost looks like a real crane. One sec. Day two. That is better. I don't know about you, but I like this new version a lot better. And the small line crease is a far cry away from the giant molding line on the original. But let's test it out. Fits like a glove. And now the strength test. Boom. 
beautiful. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit skeptical if this one would turn out or not. So glad it did. And you can print the crane in any color you want. Anyone who wants to print the items from our channel and more, feel free to check out our official Thingiverse page, Diecast R 3 d There will be a link in the description below. The next Resurrection with Austin will be released Monday, but in the meantime, feel free to check out some of our other restorations and custom Diecast builds. Have a great weekend, everyone.